What you guys got another video here for you, how to copy text from an image. Now, if you have an image like I have here and you want to copy the text from it, you can't because it's embedded in an actual JPEG or PNG or one of these other file types. So I'm going to show you a way how we can copy the text out of this image and we can then get it into an editable format where we can then use this. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to open up Word here and we're going to open up a new document and from here we're going to copy uh, this image into our Word document. Once we get the image inside here we can then save the image. So let's go ahead and drag this image into our Word document. There we go. Now we still can't edit the image and we still need to work around a few things here so we can start to edit this text in here. So let me go ahead and go up to File and we're going to save this file uh, to a location so we can open it up again. And what we need to do is save this file as a PDF file. So we're going to open this file up and you can see here it wants to save it as a document and that's no good to us. So we need to change this to a PDF file. So what I'm going to do is change the file extension to PDF. And once we change this to PDF here, we will then be able to give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to call this say uh, convert to text or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and do this quickly. So we know exactly what we're doing here and we can then save this uh, to that location. So we've now saved the file as a PDF file. So now we can close this off. We don't need to save it because we've already saved it as a PDF. And here is the PDF file here. And this is the file that we're going to use to open back up inside of our Word document. So now we have our PDF here. We still can't edit the file yet. So we need to put this back into Word. And Word has a feature that allows you to convert uh, the image into text, especially if it's a PDF file. So let's go ahead and open up Word again. And we've got a blank Word document here. I'm going to go up to File and Open. And we're going to open up our PDF file inside Word. Here it is here. So select this and click Open. And it will say Word will now convert your PDF into an editable Word document. This may take a while. So the results will uh, vary depending on uh, what type of document it is. So we're going to click on OK here. And you can see it's already done it. Now you might get a few little minor edits or mistakes, and this is pretty normal, but these are very easily rectified once you get it to an editable uh, format inside Word. Now you can see here, we do have this image here, and uh, it's not a playable video, it is just an image. And we also have this text here. You can add text to this document if you wanted to. So let me just quickly add some text here so you can see. There we go. And you can also delete text as well. Now I've added text here, but we can edit the text that's already been uh, converted. So let me show you here. There's a spelling mistake here, which has been made by the convert. So let's just change this and make that especially, and also change this to FPS. There we go. And we've now edited that file. And we now have a fully editable document, which we've converted from a image. And this can be a scanned image from a document that you've scanned, or it could be any type of image that you have, whether you've copied and pasted it somewhere, snipped it from the websites, whatever it is that you want to convert, you can use this method to literally convert images to text. It's very simple and easy to do. Now, also, you can obviously add in some other bits and you can delete stuff as well. There is a few minor little mistakes here but it's not that bad and we can quickly take care of this by going ahead and right clicking and editing like I'm showing you here. If you wanted to make changes, you can do. You can even delete parts of it or even uh, add bullet points and things like that if you want to. And if you want to delete stuff here, you just highlight and delete because the file is now editable. Now there's quite a few different ways to go about doing this and this is probably one of the most easiest ways. You do have to jump for a few hoops to get to the end result because obviously you're having to go from uh, say an image file to a PDF file and then back to the Word document so you can then edit the file. So 
there's a few little hoops you have to run through. I was hoping that uh, Word would make this a little bit easier for you. You can also do this in OneNote and other programs like that as well. There's a few other ways of you can do this and uh, you can even do it online for free. So let me just quickly show you here. I'll close this off and I'm not going to bother saving it because it's just some random text. But we can see here you can upload your uh, image and then you can convert to a Word document and then click convert and it will convert it for you. A word of caution here, this is the internet and you are uploading uh, documents to the internet. So if it is sensitive information on that image, you may not want to upload it uh, to a random site on the internet. And uh, I don't know the credibility of this site, but just giving you a heads up there to be very careful on what you upload to the internet. Because obviously if it has sensitive information in there, you may not want that getting onto uh, random websites on the web. So using the word method is uh, a lot more safer because it is actually on your computer. So anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. That is basically how you can copy text from images uh, to a Word document or convert images to text, whatever way you want to call it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out to Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Mal Sierra, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Welsh Tony One, Geo Sam, and Philip Moore. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.